It's the Games and Grabs podcast. This week, we talk more Smash, give our brief thoughts on AEW, and do our predictions for NXT TakeOver UK. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Games and Grabs podcast. This is episode 86. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how you doing? <clears throat> Not too bad, cheers. That's a very croaky hello there. That was a very <laughs> croaky hello. <laughs> I have a start of a cold. It sucks. Uh, I'm very tired. Better than that, I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> Better than you, apparently. <laughs> apparently yeah, I'm so. doing okay, yeah. I've, uh, <laughs> it's been a, a long week uh, yes. doing actual job stuff. Boo. But, um, actual job stuff sucks. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> I want this to be my job. Uh, yeah, me too. It's, it's, it's soon. I just want to turn mm-hmm. up at your place every week, do the podcast, go home and get paid loads of money. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be awesome, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day. Yeah, one day, one day. But uh, for now, I'm just... I'm fine. Me too. Yeah. Um, um, okay. So we relaunched our YouTube channel this week. We did. Uh, well, you did. Started with... <laughs> yeah. I was going to. But, yeah. yeah. It started yeah. with me on Monday uh, playing some Fire Pro Wrestling. Yay. Uh, nice start. A couple of old faces back in there, which is cool. And obviously wasn't expecting miracles first time out after a while. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to build or rebuild our YouTube community. Yes, me too. We'll get that into league. Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, if you listen to this podcast and you, you enjoy it and you want to see us play video games and uh, eventually a video version of this podcast, mm-hmm. just head over to youtube.com forward slash games graps. Yep, yep. And uh, drop us a subscription and come along and say hello next time we stream. Yes. I was going to put this, yeah, as you were talking about, I'm going to put this, up, this podcast on there as well. So you can see it's in video form. I'll try and put this week's on there. It, there won't be video, obviously, because there's no camera. Um, but yeah, start next week, hopefully, if everything works. Uh, we'll have video footage as well of our handsome faces. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, I've had a shave and everything like in preparation for my beard growing <laughs> back to adequate length for next week's video podcast. Nice. I'm, I'm growing my beard out a bit. I like, I like having a longer beard. Oh, yeah? Yeah, look good. You, can, you, <laughs> you look exactly like Joe Coffey. Thanks. Just a much skinnier, <laughs> oh. less handsome, <laughs> oh. less man bunny oh. version oh. of Joe Coffey. I'm, I'm okay with the less man bunny thing. but <laughs> I think you'd look great with a man bun. Uh, maybe, maybe one day. Finn bun. <laughs> Finn bun. <laughs> uh. Finn. <laughs> uh, what have you been playing this week? Uh, video games, basically. Oh, right. Great. Yeah, Good you? stuff. Um, and no, with uh, yourself, by the looks of it as well, because you have a, you have like a, a, a support on your wrist. I do. A uh, couple tunnel. Um, I've had it since I was like a teenager and it sucks. And it flares every now and then. So every now and then I have to wear a, 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 a wristband. Um, so yeah, thanks video games. You look like Roman Reigns. Yeah. Ooh, ah. Like Ooh, ah. a less muscly. <laughs> oh. Uh, Less handsome, oh. uh, less oily haired, oh. oh. less cool oh. version of Roman Reigns. Oh. Well, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Um, right, Brilliant. so video games. Um, I've actually finished two whole video games this week. Jesus! I know! That never happens anymore. Uh, I'll finish back one, let's go. Congratulations. Thank you. It's very good. Have you caught um, them all? I um, didn't quite crash them all. Okay. But I beat DD4. I, I, I caught Mewtwo. I caught the three uh, legendary birds. And that was enough for me. Once I was done, done, done with that, I was like, okay, that's that's enough. <laughs> Fair enough. How many hours did you eventually plough into it? I think it's about 30 something, 30 odd. Oh, okay. 32, 33. Yeah. Decent amount of time. Okay, but, uh, that's good. Yeah. I liked it. I loved it. It was so good. If, if you grew up playing Pokemon, you need to play this game. It's so, so good. So much nostalgia. Fair enough. It's excellent. Right, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing with it. I haven't played yeah, any absolutely. this week, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to carrying on with it. Probably not that far away now, yeah, to be honest. It's really good. I love it. Um, also, Red Dead Redemption 2, finally. It was the longest epilogue ever in the world. Um, but good. Very good ep- epilogue. Um, did you like it? I did. I liked it. Okay. Um, yeah, I liked it. I think I liked the epilogue more than the actual game. <laughs> um, but no, I liked it. Very good. Uh, very good story. Amazing graphics. Um, really good characters. What's the mechanics? Mm. <laughs> Controls, yeah. the horse mechanics are intuitive. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course they are. Of course they are. You've had excellent moves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's a really good game. I loved it. Um, and yeah, when we, when we get back to it, but I did like it a lot. And uh, yes, good game. Cool. Uh, what else I'm playing? Started Moss on VR thanks to uh, Viz's recommendation. Mm. And uh, yeah, so far we played about an hour of it so far. But yeah, really, really good. Um, just yeah, really good. I'm see how I'm gonna I'm gonna. Just um, I'm gonna try and pattern that game this weekend. I think it's only, it's only quite short, um, but yeah, just looking at it, it, it looks amazing. It plays amazing. So yeah, excellent. Really, really good. Um, I don't think we'll have to play Smash. What's Smash? Of course, of course. Um, I love it. So again, I'm almost. I think I've almost got all the characters now. I think I've got like four or five left. Have you got Cloud yet? What Cloud? What Cloud? Woohoo! I love him. It's so good. Um, 
Yeah, I think only missing Mewtwo. I know that because he just kicked my ass before we came over. Um, <laughs> I was trying to unlock him. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's... I can't, I can't who else. I don't know, just Mewtwo and others. Others I'm not sure of. Uh, probably some Fire Emblem they get. Fire Emblem? There's Fire. loads of Fire Emblem people in that. <laughs> really, aren't they? 90% of the roster is like Fire Emblem guys. Yeah. That's what I recognise. Uh, <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, I think that is about it. Oh, Resident Evil 2 demo. Um, Talk to me about it. I've got it downloaded on my Xbox, but I haven't played it yet. Um, I will give it a go, <coughs> but uh, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I mean, I know it's going to be great, but I just want to hear what you think about it. Pretty good. Right, cool. That's, good. <laughs> That's the Resident Evil 2 demo. <laughs> I know. It, it plays amazing. It's it's, it's silky, silky smooth, 60 frames a second. It feel, it's smooth so good. Um, you nerd. I am a nerd. Um, <laughs> it feels so good. It's so smooth. I love it. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> yep. Um, it uses the uh, same engine that Resident Evil 7 did. Um, so it's like the RE engine. It plays amazing. Uh, controls are really good. It just, this just feels really good. It's like the Resident Evil 2, uh, the, the environments are the same, the, but there's still like a lot of differences to it. Um, so I don't want to spoil, but there's, there are a few things that are different. Um, okay. Lots of jump scares, which are nice. Um, and yeah, just really good. You need to play it. Yeah, I will do. I've got, like I said, I've, uh, I've got, I've set it off to download. So, I mean, it'll be done. Well, it'll be done now as we're Probably. speaking, but, um, looking forward to trying that out for sure. Mm. Uh, it's a game that I'm very, very excited about. Always have, I have very fond memories of it from playing it like way back. Oh, yes. 98, I think it came out. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing it then and I loved it then and I think I'll love it again. I'm really excited for it. Yes. It's going to be great. Oh, for yes. sure. For sure. And, uh, yeah. And that's about it, really. How about you? What have you been playing? To be honest, not much this week. Um, I've not had a lot of time free. I've been sort of trying to raise our social media game. Nice. So uh, when I've not been at work, I've been trying to do that. Cool. Um, which is fine, which I'm fine with. I, I enjoy doing that side of things. That's more my forte as opposed <laughs> to your technical prowess. Yes, that's good. You handle, you handle the social stuff. I handle the uh, editing and stuff. Yeah, so I've been, I've been doing a lot of that. But mm-hmm. when I have had chance to play games, um, I've mainly just been playing on Switch because it's been easy and very accessible for me. Cool. I've been playing a game that I'm not allowed to talk about uh, called uh, Future Grind. I can't talk about it. I will talk about it when I'm allowed to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I played Starlink Battle for Atlas finally. Oh, yeah. Now, it's really good. Mm. Like, really good. Oh, good. I played a very small amount of it at EGX, and I thought it was good then, but you couldn't really get a proper feel for it. You know when you're standing there and somebody's watching you play it? Yeah, You can't do what you want. You just be like, oh, go here, go here, go here, go here, and do this and this. And I'm like, I just want to play the game. Let me play. But uh, obviously, I got it for 20 quid. Bargain. The asking price originally for it was 80. Now, if you, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I said on the podcast a month or so ago, just as it was about to come out, that it would fail. Yeah. And it, it would bomb uh, because of the price point and because Toys to Life just... It just... It isn't really prominent anymore. Like when no, Disney Infinity and Skylanders were massive, um, you know, Toys to Life was, was at its highest point then. Mm-hmm. So for Ubisoft to take the risk and try and bring that genre back was baffling to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the fact that they, they put uh, like an 80, 90 pound price point on it was just mind blowing and I uh, knew it was destined to fail. Sadly, it has, but it's not for it being a bad game because it isn't at all. It's so much fun. The toys themselves are ultimately fairly pointless because you can buy the game digital yeah. and you get the same stuff, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you just don't get the physical toys. Um, but I have the physical copy no. uh, on the Switch, <laughs> and uh, you get Star Fox. Uh, sorry, you get Fox McCloud and his his ship, cool, which Ollie. is awesome. Yes, and you, cool. you do also get the main character from the game. But you don't have to play as him <laughs> because if you put the uh, Fox McCloud character into the controller dock that you get with it, mm-hmm. um, they they basically just shoehorn him into get into the game. Oh, nice. Like, yeah. they've added cutscenes for him. Oh, that's cool. And <laughs> it's really, really well made. It's really good. It plays great. It's fun to play. The environments are cool. The only thing I can compare it to is No Man's Sky with a story. Oh, okay. Because it has its core story. It has cutscenes, really well animated, well voice acted cutscenes, mm. and a cool story. But, you, you know, you go to these big planets... You can scan the wildlife, you can collect materials and do main missions and side missions. And it's just really, really fun to play. Nice. 
you spend all the time in the ship, but it acts like a, a third person action adventure game. Oh, cool. And it's awesome. very cool. And it's a shame that it has done badly, bad enough for at least to at least get a, a enormous price drop. Yeah. Honestly, I just thought it was another, like a space shooter. Because I fucked the towers, I just assumed it was a space shooter and thought, okay, that's fine. But uh, no, third person action adventure game, cool. Yeah, it's really, really good. Like um, so well worth it. looking at, especially at the £20 price point. Mm, interesting. To be honest, it's probably worth 40 50 in, in truth. Yeah. Because of the, the quality of the toys that you get. Do look nice to be fair. Um, I mean, if you're a Nintendo Switch owner and you get that version, that's the best version. Mm. Because the Xbox version and the PS4 version, they just come with the standard Starlink characters. But with Nintendo, they're the only ones that have their own property as part of it. So to get Fox and to play as Fox in the game is really cool. It's not a Fox game. Uh-huh. It's not It's not a Star Fox game. No. But it just feels like it because Double you get them. to play him. Yeah. And that's great. So yeah, cool. it has his, you know, his whole team. It has the Star Fox team in there as well. Oh, nice. Uh, as supporting <laughs> characters. And the way they've done it and put it all together is really good. Um, but I just think Ubisoft took a massive risk, which hasn't paid off. So we won't get another one. Yeah. Shame. Cool. Yeah, pretty much. But um, other than that, I've played some more Smash and I can't get enough of it. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I adore it. It's so good. <laughs> I love its ambition. I love the stage design. I love the varied cast of characters, like being able to have Bayonetta <laughs> fighting a, a, you know, like Luigi. a bloody, yeah, Luigi <laughs> or an Animal Crossing guy, you know, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It's just so great. And I, I, I love it so much. It's just, it's superb. Cool. So yeah, I've only been, I've only been playing Switch this week, really. Fair play. Um, have you played any more classic modes or any more with the story? Well, like, uh, I've just been playing classic mode because uh, I'm same. just addicted to it. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that format. Uh, I like being able to just blast through it, then shoot the credits, and <laughs> I like trying to beat my own scores. Yeah, me too. Actually, yeah, it's it's, it's cool. weird. It's like a, it's a weird feeling. I've not been asked about that for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this has come along. I was like, oh, I've got a massive score with Yoshi there, hmm. but now I want to beat it, and I beat it with Samus, and now that's my challenge now to beat the score that I got with Samus, and it's really cool. Plus, you get to unlock dudes at the end if provided you don't lose. Look, um, I did it before you came. Lost me too. Got out me too. Yeah, One I've day. lost Bowser and someone else so far, but they'll come back up in the yeah, little yeah. doors in the corner. <laughs> but it's great, and I really love it. But, um, I mean, I I got like, um, I bought like five indie games for the Switch the other day, like nice. 20 quid or something, less than that. It, like, they got, you know, they have their sale. None of the Nintendo games are on the sale, but the other stuff, the indie stuff, is. Cool. Um, I got like a, a cool looking Blackjack game, which is, uh, it's like Blackjack puzzle turbo 2 it's like a it's like a, a piss take of street fighter 2 turbo oh yeah but it's like a blackjack game oh okay <laughs> weird yeah um i got guts and glory i don't know if you've heard of this uh, i've heard of it That's what it's it is. basically you have to survive an obstacle course you might have seen videos on the internet of it where it's like a, a dad and a baby on a bike oh yeah yeah I've that seen yeah yeah um, it's, just, just... it's pretty cool i got a, a game called nippon marathon oh, okay brilliant name Great name. It's basically <laughs> like a Japanese game show, ah. and you have to survive I mean, an obstacle course. Yeah, I'm in already. It's like a, it's like know, a, enough. It's like a four-player <laughs> multiplayer game That's where awesome. you start at a starting line and have to like dodge your way through. <laughs> uh, the guy I'm playing as at the minute is dressed as a lobster. Nice. <laughs> it's a weird game, but it's a, a lot of fun. It's not the best game in the world, but it's fun and it's just it's weird. Nice. And a couple of other like little bits, but yeah. Um, when I have time at the minute, when I'm not doing games and graps promoting, <laughs> awesome. I'm doing that. Nice. I like it. Would you say you have, you would say you have a main on Smash yet? Like- I think Pac-Man is my favourite so oh, really? far. Interesting. Along with Bayonetta, because I think Bayonetta is really good as well. But I've not unlocked that many people. But so far, uh, Pac-Man I think is really good. And Bayonetta, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I really love Bayonetta. I think my main so far, I would be leaning towards, towards like Samus and Dark Samus. Uh, Samus was good. That's the one I got my main score with, my yeah. biggest score with. Samus looked like Samus. So I like to be able to like stand back and shoot and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, Cloud, I'll be like, um, yeah, Samus and Cloud, like the two mains at the minute. And Fair Ryu, enough. And Street Fighter. Uh, that my three, three main guys. Hmm. I think it's quite cool, really, because um, obviously everybody's going to have like different preferences. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a ton to pick from, so oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that's the reason. But yeah, it's just it's just so great. I love it. I mean, you know, you, when you first start, you lean towards. Pikachu and Mario and stuff like that. But then, you know, you, you move on towards the game and, you know, like Pac-Man, I didn't think Pac-Man would be yeah. the person that I like playing as the most. No, no. Um, 
I mean, I love Bayonetta anyway, but uh, I didn't think she'd be one. You know, my, one of my favorite characters to be. Yeah, but she is. And she's great. Awesome. Yeah, Bayonetta's awesome. Bayonetta I keep meaning to pick Bayonetta, Bayonetta two up actually for really the Switch because uh, I really love the first one. Mm. And I've never played two. So good. Uh, so I'm, I, I want to get it for Switch and play. Oh it. yes, it's so so good. Recommended. Uh, Bayonetta three coming out at some point. Hopefully this year. Maybe next year. Probably next year. Probably next year. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be so awesome. Yeah. Uh, cool. So that's video games. Um, uh, nothing else really happened video game wise this uh, this week that I know of. No, not really. Yeah, no. So uh, it's very it's a very slow month for gaming news though. Generally. Pretty much. Yeah, There's yeah. There's a few decent releases this month, like we covered last week. Oh yeah. Uh, cheers, Gamespot for missing just a ton of stuff out yeah, and I did that. putting stuff on there that ain't even coming out. So that's yes. good. So Tro- Tropico um six, I think we talked about, spoke about last week. I uh, also come out this month. It's coming out in, like March or something. So cheers, Gamespot. Yeah, good um, work. And um, yeah, something about um. There's a game about, what the hell's it called? Uh, Grand Tour. You know the Amazon show? Yeah, yeah. Jeremy Larson. Apparently there's a game with that coming out this, month, this week. Oh, it's out now, I think. Today. Oh, is it? Oh, great. Okay. That's a thing. <laughs> um, so apparently, I think there's going to run like a special events to go with the TV show or something. I don't know. I'm, I, in, I'm I've intrigued. Saw, but... I've seen the adverts for it and oh, I yeah. thought, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. That looks okay. I'm not sure. The thing is, <laughs> the price point is worrying to me because... Oh, yeah. It started at like 25, 30 quid. Okay. And then very quickly, like one day to the next, yeah. it was 11 99 and that's Ooh. what it is, brand new. It's oh, 11 right. 99 Hmm. You can buy it on the Xbox store for 11 99 with the like, it's a season three bundle, they're calling it. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> yes, like you, I am intrigued because I do like those guys and I like the show. Yeah, me too. And the game doesn't look terrible. Oh, yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Games version TV shows haven't always done all that well it's like I want to I want to I kind of want to check it out but I don't want to spend money <laughs> I mean it sounds shit doesn't it it yeah. sounds awful it should be bad in, it should definitely be yeah, bad but, but I've I've seen it in action like on the trailer and it looks okay yeah I'm, I'm definitely intrigued we'll, we'll, we'll come back next week after we've seen a bit more of it and let you know yeah yeah okay. <laughs> yeah uh, right. I might just buy it. It's eleven ninety nine. I might yeah. just buy it when I get paid and play it for eleven ninety nine. Even if it's shit, it's worth it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Is it right. on PS4 and Xbox? Yeah, the PS4 as well, yeah. Right, okay. Right, video games. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, wrestling happened this week. Wrestling um, did happen, yeah. It was Smackdown. It was all right this week, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I pretty thought right. Smackdown was better than Raw, but I don't think Raw was terrible either. No, it's fine. It's definitely picking up. I mean, you can see that change is happening oh yeah but it's not going to happen overnight no no it can take, it'll take a little while it's going to take a little while um yeah before we get into raw and smackdown uh can i get your opinion on aew so all elite wrestling they had a press conference this week and it's going to be a thing going forward apparently right. there's a lot of money behind it and they're seeking tv deals and they've got a, a fine roster of wrestlers so far oh, not yeah. that many but they've got some and yep, they've got they're doing a pay-per-view double or nothing in may in las vegas nice tell me what you think to aew um i'm intrigued um i like the fact they've got like guys like neville or pack um you know good uh goth dad chris jericho um <laughs> other guys like that um but yeah, I, I, a lot of people are saying, oh, yeah, take down WWE, it's going to be do this and that. Like, it's not going to take down WWE. That's that's silly. Um, <laughs> I do want to succeed, obviously. I want, of course, yeah. Because um, you always want all these guys to make as much money as possible and be awesome and put on awesome shows. Um, I do think, in some respects, they're going about it the wrong way. Like, being anti-WWE is a bit silly because I call it alienates, like, the, the WWE crowd. Because, there's, like, a lot of people, like, I would say most wrestling fans watch WWE because um, that's where wrestling is. Yeah. So, by... In- by bad mad and WWE, say WWE sucks, they're going to be so much better. That's like alienating that huge chunk of audience because they're not going to watch, want to watch you anymore because you just bad mouth the show that they watch. So they're not going to, they've lost interest in AEW already before you even started. Just like, just, you don't, you don't want to compete with the WWE, you want to be next to WWE, you want to be another WWE, you want to, mm-hmm. you know, work with them rather than against them. So it, I do want them to succeed, obviously, but just, yeah, go about it a bit. Differently, maybe. Not the same thing, but look what happened to WCW when they badmouthed WWE. Mm, yeah. I mean, people instantly... Sw- not not that I'm saying that the WWE product now is as good as WWE was then. No. Because, of course, it isn't. But, <laughs> you know, but I don't think badmouthing um, the opposition is the way to go about it. Just start up 
and build yourself on your own reputation instead of, yeah, they said, fuck WWE, I'm going to go and watch that. That's not the way to go about it, not in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I also want to talk a, a little bit about uh, wrestling fan hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. Because I, I tweeted about it earlier on because it thing. annoys me. Yeah. Um, because obviously these guys that are signed to AEW are signed to exclusive AEW contracts. Mm-hmm. So they'll be competing exclusively for that company. Makes sense. Uh, taking those guys away from the American or it, in Puck is, in, in that case, the British indie scene. Yeah, indie yeah. scene in general. Yeah, yeah. When WWE do this, <laughs> like for NXT and NXT UK, well, there's been a big thing in this country recently with people sort of complaining about WWE trying to suffocate the UK independent scene by signing some of the main guys to... Um, NXT UK contracts, WWE contracts. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see it that way at all, but it's the fact that, you know, when AEW does it, people are like, oh, that's a great get for them. That's a really great get for them. And like really uh, celebrating and applauding the idea of AEW signing these wrestlers to exclusive contracts. When WWE do it for <laughs> NXT or main show, it's, oh, WWE trying to ruin wrestling. <laughs> and it's like, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. <laughs> uh, and like, it, it is literally the same thing. Yeah, that's it. It's like a lot of people seem to think that because they're doing this uh, like contract signing thing, that that means they're going to be better than other you know the companies that have come and gone in the past. But Lucha Underground did that, and I didn't go to Wolverine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it's not just because they're doing that; it just means they're going to succeed. Yeah, it's just like it's just a thing they're doing, which is fine. It's just you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it, right? People, it, you know. I mean, I want it to succeed. I want it to do well. And I will watch it when it launches just yeah. out of curiosity. It might not be for me. Uh, but if that's the case, that's fine. I don't watch Impact yeah. um, anymore because it just doesn't appeal to me. Yeah. I don't know. I just think people need to maybe calm down a little bit with e- <clears throat> potential WWE crushing yeah, yeah, because yeah. I don't think it will reach that level. No. Maybe it does, and fair play. Oh, but. yeah, great, of course. I mean, there are, like I said before, there is a lot of money behind it. Oh, yeah. And if they're seeking for TV, great. But they need to be on a major TV station. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at TNA's TV deals. They've all been an absolute joke. It's pretty much. Like I you mean, said on the tweet, like, they want some non hd channel, yeah. some obscure channel, which I've never heard of. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's, it was on Challenge TV in England. Challenge, that was it, yeah. <laughs> After catchphrase and bullseye. <laughs> Oh god! Right, coming up after Bullseye, we've got uh, Impact Wrestling. Yeah. They'll be throwing each other around. <laughs> it just makes it look like a joke. Yeah. Um, so I hope um, All Elite Wrestling doesn't go down that route of going through terrible TV stations where you have to scrape around and try and find it in potato quality. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, to be honest, Impact is starting to appeal to me a little bit more now because they're starting to broadcast the actual show Impact on Twitch. Oh, nice. That's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning, go to Twitch. If Impact is there for me to watch on demand, then I'll watch it. Yeah, fair play. And see, just see what it's all about now. Yeah, yeah. Because they have some guys wrestling for them at present that I do like, like some of the guys from Lucha Underground and stuff like that. So That's cool. But with with AEW, I, I'm behind it. I want them to succeed. I just think um, the kind of people that watch those guys and support those guys just need to cool their jets maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. You can have WWE and you can have AEW. Yeah. It's all wrestling. If you like wrestling, this is all wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling is good. Be fans of what you want to be fans of, but just remember, just listen to yourself before you say things. Yeah. So before you accuse WWE of, uh, you know, taking people out of the indies, that's what exactly what AEW are doing. And another thing with that, why would people not want to sign for WWE if that's what they're being offered. Yeah, so, so. Less dates, you know, so less work for more money. Mm. And WWE have just opened up a performance centre here in the UK. So now they have a place where they can just go and train <laughs> without having to, like, just go to a local gym. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's in huge. what world would you not want to do that? Yeah, seriously. Uh. It just... The, 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 the mentality of some wrestling fans um, just annoys me. They're not open-minded. Like, oh God, that means I'm not going to get to watch him wrestle in front of 15 people every Friday <laughs> night down the local social club like I used to. This <laughs> stupid WWE. <laughs> it's like they are helping 
bring these superstars that are your favorites to a much wider audience. Yes, that's a good thing. 100%. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are people who wouldn't have even heard of Kyle O'Reilly or Adam Cole or Maybe. Bobby Fish or Roderick Strong before they came to NXT. Like me. But now look at them. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. They're, you know, they're bringing these superstars, these really talented people to a wider audience. AEW are going to do the same with their superstars and they're, you know, signed to their exclusive contracts. So just be open-minded. More stars will come through. Oh, yeah. Like Hulk Hogan <laughs> was the biggest star in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, yeah. Right, his his era is past. It's not like we've not filled that void. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like Cena was the biggest star. Now he's moved along, and now it's Roman Reigns. Ooh, wow. you, know, it, you know, it. it <sighs> more wrestlers will come along. Of course. So do, p- these companies they aren't strangling the indies; they're actually bettering the industry, and now it gives more people a chance to move up through the ranks. Stop being such bitches, yes. Jesus! <laughs> just like wrestling, just like. Just like wrestling, just you know. I had to get that wrestling. off my chest. It just annoys me so much that's when a, I see this crap. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. I get it. <laughs> just me, I get it. Um, but yeah, wrestling is wrestling, like wrestling. Good. Right. So, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so yeah, it's war. Um, so, brought aside uh, a fight broke out backstage between Seth uh, Rollins and Bob Lashley. Uh, Spilt into the ring up, into the arena, and then that was the thing. And then after that, Cena came out. Didn't want to kick off the show. Officially. Yep. And actually, he is going to be in the Royal Rumble. Everyone act surprised. Now we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. And then we had uh, Drew McIntyre come down. Uh, yada, yada. I'm the best. I'm going to beat you. Pastor George, me. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, down to John Cena, Bono, Romo. Of course, yeah. Sure. Which, which Cena himself pointed out, which is fair. Um, the bad to get into a fight and then interrupted by Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley, who interrupted by Seth Rollins, who... Interrupted by Dean Ambrose and Cena McIntyre getting involved, and Finn Balor comes down out of nowhere, <laughs> and then a break happens, and then next thing you know, there's a six man tag. Surprising, it's shocking, yeah. yeah that never <laughs> happens. Yeah, never, 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 happens. No. never before. Um, and yeah, it's a decent match to be fair. Um, really good match. Uh, it was a good match to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, Cena does stand the Cena things. You know, gets beaten up off the match until finally gets t- t- tagged out, um, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> But what's the name? Renee Young said, "There's another another quiver in his arrow." So arrow in his quiver, arrow in his quiver. There, Renee. Good, good stuff. <laughs> Which, uh, to be fair, um, uh, what's his face? Corey out. Graves. Corey Graves pointed out. Yeah, I was like, maybe laugh. <laughs> no, just no quiver in his arrow. God damn it, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, we're rooting for you. Come on, don't <laughs> yes, let us down. Come on. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. Anyway, really good match. I enjoyed it. Um, and then Seth Rollins went backstage, uh, slapped the coffee out of Triple H's hand, <laughs> whipped coffee. And demanded a match, match against uh, Dean Ambrose, which you get, which you got uh, for that night. Full threat anywhere for the IC title. Nice, good, yeah, okay. nice. And we had a nice little thing with uh, uh, Hulk Hogan um, picking this back to uh, Gene Okerlund. Very nice. Really great video package as well. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, nobody does du- video packages like WWE. Yeah, seriously. Um, it was just perfect. Really, a, a really well done, classy segment. Hogan played his part and I thought he was really good. Yeah. Uh, the crowd didn't boo him, which to be honest, I was, ex- there was a few little boos, but yeah. for the most part, Hulk Hogan is still a hero to a lot of people. Look of. Uh, you, you could say, you could see the usual Hogan fans in the <laughs> crowd, like dressed as Hogan. Yeah, yeah. And they're there every time Hogan is somewhere. Yeah. But, um, it was good to see Hogan. He played his part and the, the, the whole segment was really classy. Uh, and really nice and a really fitting tribute to the great Mean Gene Oakland. Yes, very nice. Uh, imagine if they hadn't announced he was going to be there, Hulk. They just did like nice 10 bells of Gene Oakland and then Hulk's music hit. Imagine the reaction they would have gotten. Yeah. <laughs> Exploded. Stupid internet. You ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we had a tag team title lumberjack match. Uh, with Bobby Roode and Chad Gable versus the Revival. I don't like That's- Chad Gable in pants. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like that. I just can't get used to it. I'm so used to seeing him in a singlet. Yeah, yeah. I hate when they do that, by the way. You know, like when WWE do that, they're like, they make people dress like their partner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, remember, <laughs> remember when Roderick Strong came down as AOP? Oh, God. <laughs> at Takeover last yeah, year. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, man. And also that first time when Spud, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Rockstar Spud. Yeah. That's not his name, is it? Drake uh, Maverick. Drake Maverick, yeah, yeah. Um, Came down with AOP oh God, dressed yeah. up and like they, the whole internet just ripped him. Yeah. I just, amazing. I don't like when they do that. Yeah, it's like, a bit weird. Have, have them wear the same colours. That's fine. Yeah. But Chad Gable didn't need to 
lose the top half of his attire <laughs> and just make him wear pants. Uh, poor Gable. Chad, you're wearing pants now. <laughs> um, but no, it's a really good match. I, I, both these teams are great. I love them. Um, it's so, so good. Yep. Um, so the match ended with uh, Chad Gable rolling up uh, Dash. Question mark? I think it's Dash. Um, but his foot was under the rope, which the referee didn't see. I like how that's still causing confusion for people. Yeah. Which like, one's Dash and which one's Dawson? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dawson's the one with the handlebar moustache. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it was Dash then, I think. Dash is the one with... Not the handlebar moustache. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, the one with hair. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, really good match. Um, so, once again, uh, the revival got screwed out of the tag team titles. So this is going to be a thing going forward. Um, they will win them. Oh, of course. I hope so. They, they definitely it. will win them. Yeah. I think they'll win them at the Raw Rumble. Probably. Uh, I'll be 100% okay with that because they are awesome. Yeah, and they've deserved it since they've been up. Yeah, seriously. They're awesome. Yep, yep. Uh, then we had some uh, Elias doing stuff, um, which I skipped. Sorry, Elias. Um, it's interrupted by Baron Corbin. Uh, they had a match. Um, like, I, like, I like both these guys, but for some reason this feud just isn't doing it for me. And I find myself skipping through it. Mm. Sometimes I think feuds just are generally uninteresting. It's not because the wrestlers are bad. It's just because sometimes these people just don't have a great chemistry. Yeah. I mean, Baron Corbin is a massive heel at the minute. Like, oh, to yeah. be honest, he, he is getting a real great reaction mm. and he's doing his job really well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Elias is doing really well as a face and people are super behind him, but the two together, it just doesn't seem to work. And I'm not sure why. Um, I don't think it's either guy's fault. No, no. But to be honest, the sooner this feud is done with, uh, the better. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Spam Corbin actually won with the end of the day, which is nice. I think he needed, needed a win after all this, uh, uh, shenanigans. Yeah, he definitely recently. needs to build it back up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't like the end of the day's finish as well. So cool. Mm. Well, That's really good, yeah. Um, and we had a Dean Ambrose backstage promo. Um, I love Heel Dean. He's so good. Yep, awesome. And he basically like, he said, yeah, I'll never like six, six man tags anyway. So I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, then we had uh, Braun Strowman doing stuff about Brock Lesnar. Um, oh yeah, I said because Brock Lesnar was backstage, didn't want really to come out. Um, uh, he did that eventually anyway because there's a fucking Brock. Who knows? It's like me uh, <laughs> sitting in the toilet at work, like <laughs> yeah. FaceTiming my boss saying I'm not coming. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just going to sit here <laughs> all day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so he came down, walked around the ring and then left, which is pointless. Why even come? Um, only that paycheck. We're coming down, walking around the ring and leaving again. It is annoying. It is word. very, very annoying. Grr. Grr. He'll lose it at Rumble. Uh, no, not Rumble, the uh, uh, Mania. Think he will? Yeah, I hope. Oh, you don't think he'll lose it? I thought you, sorry, um, you, you changed to Mania. Yeah, yeah I think sorry. he'll lose it at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not at Rumble. Rumble. He'll give it the Rumble uh, against Strowman, lose it against... You know what? Please, I, I've yeah, changed maybe? my stance on okay. this. Yeah. Um, and I've come up with a different theory because, mm. you know, my theories always definitely come true. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Always. Uh, just like EC3 turning up on Raw this week. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, it definitely happened, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, instead, he was in a dark match before Raw. Yeah. Still counts. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, sure. So I think Finn Balor's going to win the Raw Rumble. Oh, interesting. And I think he's going to um, go to SmackDown and challenge Daniel Bryan. Oh, I'd be okay with that. And give us a real main event for WrestleMania. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. I'd love to see that. So I think that might happen. Nice. I like it. I like it. WWE keep saying and they can go against the champion of their choosing mm. of their choosing and they keep using that phrase yeah yeah um so i think finn because you know the, the word is that finn balor is going to get pushed nice good and it. finally right yeah yeah so i think he'll win the raw rumble i mean let's let's face it al- although it's professional wrestling and professional wrestling is staged really when did when look i'm sorry to break it to you oh man still wasn't me damn it <laughs> um, he's not going to beat Brock Lesnar is he that's a fair point yep um, I so I think if they are going to push him I think moving into Smackdown is definitely the right step to yep. take and have him go against heel Daniel Bryan um, so have Daniel Bryan beat AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble which will definitely happen uh, have Finn Balor win then go to Smackdown and because I think the two champions will be on Raw the night after the Royal Rumble right that makes sense so uh, I think that's when Finn Balor will make his choice Nice. Just like Oscar did last year when she decided to go against Charlotte Flair and oh. move to SmackDown instead of taking on the then Raw Women's Champion, who I think might have been Alexa Bliss, question mark? Sure. So yeah, I think that <laughs> I think that's what will happen. And I think Braun Strowman might actually win. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Theories. Um. He can't lose again. He <laughs> Sorry, can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> I mean, you had that time when he challenged Brock for the championship. Was that like last year's Raw Rumble? It couldn't have been. Uh, no, it wasn't. Remember. It wasn't. Um, 
it was at a pay per view, and Brock won clean with one F five. Yeah, yeah. And then they had that stupid nonsense in Saudi Arabia okay. where it was a squash. Yeah, yeah, that's crap. And I just, it's too damaging to Braun Strowman for him to lose again. Yeah. Because it brings back that thing of, okay, he's lost again. Why would he deserve another title shot? Yeah. Unless he wins the Royal Rumble. Maybe. But I don't think he will. No. He would get a huge pop to be fair. He'd be rock. That'd be pretty huge. Yeah, yeah, they'll have a rematch at... Uh, I want to see something fresh. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar with the title. No, I don't. I want to see <laughs> no, Braun Strowman fight someone else. Like, fight Seth Rollins. Fight... Yeah. I don't know. I don't care. Anybody but Brock. Hmm. Interesting. I like it. Uh, <laughs> right, so then we had uh, poor old Jinder. Roman the WWE champion. <laughs> um, <laughs> Seems like it's such a long time ago now. <laughs> it really does. Um, him and Alicia Fox do stuff. It's not great. There's a tag match. Uh, <laughs> Apollo Crews and Ember Moon versus Jinder and Alicia Fox. Um... Jinder Alicia got beaten in seconds. Rip. Um, good with Apollo Crews because he gets more rush, but it sucks with Jinder. What's the deal with Apollo at the minute? What are they doing? I don't know. Because he's on Raw winning matches. Which is good. Which is which is a, a, a good start, I yeah. guess. Mm-hmm. But how do they build on it? What do you see in Apollo Crews' future? Is he the heavyweight champion? Is he the IC champion? I think more IC champion over heavyweight, at least for now. Because um, you've got to believe that this Seth and Dean stuff is done with soon. Yeah, yeah. I think I think once that's done with, I think Apollo might be put into that picture against Dean or Seth. Probably Dean. Let's face it. Um, so yeah, Dean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I, 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 yeah, Apollo, I think Apollo versus Dean will be a good pairing for a little while going forwards. I'd enjoy it. I think yeah. that'd be good. Um, I just want people to get behind Apollo more. Yeah, me too. He's, he's, he deserves it. He's awesome. It doesn't help that he has been booked very, very poorly before. Yeah. So he doesn't... But he ties well by Garbage. Worldwide. Worldwide. Pfft, boo. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so we had, oh God, a pretty terrible interview segment with Alicia Fox and Ronda Rousey and um, what's her face? Uh, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, thank you. Uh, so yeah, she's got a little talk show thing about me. Yeah, I'm not interested in it at all. Yeah, yeah it's garbage. Uh, something, something, Jasper Banks, crowd boos, yikes. Uh, <laughs> got interviewed by Nia Jax, blah, blah, blah. She made it even worse. Oh God, yeah. So, and it was awful. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, Sasha Banks comes out, says the word bitch, and then the match is used. Um, <laughs> yeah, the word bitch just gets a massive pop. Yeah. Bitch, what line? Oh! oh. <laughs> so apparently we're going to get Sasha Banks versus Ronda Rousey. Don't get me wrong, that oh, yeah, could be a really great match. Yeah. Uh, and I'm happy again to see somebody different going after the Women's Championship. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to see Ronda get beaten, but I want to see Ronda get beaten. Yeah. I want her to become <laughs> a part of the women's division normally. Because at the minute, she's uh, invincible. Pretty much, yeah. So you want to see her get beaten, but you don't want her, you want her to hang around still. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want her to go <laughs> away. I, I yeah. want her to be... I just want it to be... I want the women's division to be... A, I want it to be fair. Yeah. I want everybody to be able to beat everybody. Because at the minute, every time Ronda Rousey... I don't think Sasha Banks will beat Ronda Rousey. Probably not. <laughs> no way. <laughs> um... But I, I want somebody to beat her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we had Sasha versus Nia, which is uh, decent. Surprisingly decent. Well, I was expecting it to be terrible, but it was all right. Uh, at one point, there's a weird hurricane from the apron to Nia, uh, but Nia didn't fall off the apron. She just kind of fell down. Yeah, and she then, flopped. Yeah, and Sasha just did like, a weird flip thing onto the outside. It was weird. So Sasha <laughs> actually came off worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Despite the fact that, obviously, Nia was supposed to forward roll off the... Apron. Yeah. She I didn't. She just so. flopped into it and Sasha ended up, it was basically ended up in, as a power bomb. <laughs> Pretty much. <yeah. laughs> like Nia yeah, power, power bombed. Yeah. <laughs> Sasha bon- Sasha Bonks. I was about to say that. <laughs> Sasha Bonks. Sasha Bonks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Banks basically power bombed herself. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. As long as I was a botch or just stupid. Um, that was a botch. Oh. 100% botch. That's fair. Um, so yeah, Sasha ended up winning with a bank statement and will face Wonder Rousey at the Wumble, as you mentioned. Good. <laughs> um, so we had the main event which of course was uh, Dean Ambrose with Seth Rollins in a full count anime match which uh, I liked a lot actually it was, yeah, really it was cool. good yeah I enjoyed um, it a lot very good uh, like classic full count anime match you went backstage you were in the crowd yeah um, everywhere it was it was very cool uh, pinfalls everywhere like pinfall on like the announce table at one point I think mm-hmm. um, it was very cool uh, that was very cool like superplex into a falcon arrow into a buckle bomb into a super kick into a stomp <laughs> which <laughs> which he almost won on but got broken up by of course Bobby Lashley oh, sure yeah that few continues um, I'm okay with it to be honest I don't mind that at all my thinking behind this and you probably think I'm stupid but my thinking behind this is was 
to give the illusion that Seth Rollins, not the illusion, but mm-hmm. for Seth Rollins to beat Bobby Lashley, to then give the impression that he can beat the bigger opponent and that he could go after Brock or Braun mm, nice. and push him towards the universal title. Because, oh, to be honest, that's the only reason I can think of for this feud. That's fair. But um, that that makes it makes sense in my head, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. to show that Seth can beat that bigger opponent. Makes sense. Because, you know, the only people bigger than Bobby Lashley are Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, so if Seth is going to be the universal champion and he's going to have to fight these big, massive guys, <laughs> you need to have him beat a big, massive guy. Makes sense. I like it. Um, yeah, I like, I like Bobby Lashley more as this current... I think we did last week, didn't we? But my, my, this current version of Bobby Lashley, as opposed to his weird face, talking about his sister's... Bobby Lashley we had when he first came back. It just didn't work at all. <laughs> it didn't work at all, no. I terrible. think Bobby Lashley was a heel in Impact. Yeah. I think he was. I think so. I think it was, yeah. Um, but I don't get the leather jacket, or the leather vest and the baseball cap. It's weird. I kind of like it. I think it looks, make it looks cocky and like arrogant and heelish. It was a terrible combination of clothes. It's not great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I like, I like Bobby Lashley. It's good. Yeah, I do as well. Uh, I like Leo Rush as well. Awesome. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Um, so yeah, so, um, Bobby Lashley hit triangle, did his finisher. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it sets us out cold for like 15 minutes and then Team Rambo is called onto the, onto him, uh, to pin him for the, um, uh, championship and won. So he retained his championship. Good. Cool. Um, Dinner still champ, and yeah, I would say that was a match of the night. I think. Uh, I think that needs to be done now as well. Seth and Dean okay. done. Yes, we've seen it, and it's been good. And now we don't need to see it again. Uh, yep, yeah, I agree. Now Seth moves on to beat Bobby Lashley. Yep, and Dean Ambrose goes and fights Apollo Crews. Sure. Yes, sure, good, not good to me. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, all right, so it's back now. Uh, Seth and I started off with uh, Danny Bryan at the concession stand, saying like consumerism is bad, etc. Et it was good. Um, it's good. I, I love, I love Hill Bryan. It's just a good. Um, he threw a hot dog at some dude, uh, spills a drink over another dude, uh, walked through the crowd like throwing insults to people as he goes, mm. which I thought was funny. Uh, it's so good. And he got attacked by, oh, our truth Question mark. Okay, sure, sure. Why not? Um, <laughs> I like that Daniel Bryan was using the word impotent. <laughs> impotent, yeah, yeah, that was it. I was trying to think of that word the other day, and I couldn't think, couldn't remember what it was. But yeah, impotent, yeah. Very yeah. Funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, so our truth versus Daniel Bryan happened for some reason, and I blinked and then Bryan won. Yeah. So good job. <laughs> I thought it was the turning point for our truth. Yeah, like, for a second there. Yeah. This looks, our truth looks promising here. He's yeah. doing like he did, he did his five moves that he does. Yeah, um, when he was beating him up, I was like, what, what, "What's this?" He's, yeah, he's won the truth killings back. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he's not. He's not back. He's not. So no, he's not. no, no, he's not. Same. <laughs> but then after the match, of course, uh, AJ came down and attacked, uh, and then they're both broken up by like security guys. Apparently, this is the real AJ Styles. Yeah, sure. Why not? I suppose that fake AJ Styles have been having all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was cool. Then we had a very cool match uh, between Rey Mysterio and the Mustafa Ali versus Samoa Joe and Cien Almas. Great and match. So, so good. Loved it. All four guys are amazing. Um, they're like an insane looking springboard pole driver kind of thing onto Almas <laughs> from the <Mysterio. laughs> Like, so good. Like, like Mysterio and Almas have great chemistry together. Like these two to be in a few just forever. Yeah, that's what I want to see now. <laughs> yeah, I, for I, sure. I want Almas and Mysterio in a feud. Yeah, definitely. Like just for the next year, probably. Yeah, just true. doing this crazy lucha stuff. Yes, L- lucha things. Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> <For sure. laughs> crazy lucha things, <laughs> and then obviously you could probably bring Sin Cara into yeah, the mix, of course, yeah, and have a brilliant triple threat match. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> why would you why would they not think of that yeah I know right where Crazy. is Sin Cara for crying out loud <laughs> Friedel was dead um, oh. <laughs> I don't know uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah really really good match um, first of all I can't believe they let them do a pile driver I know I even said the word pile driver I, like, I know you did yeah, <laughs> that's for me <laughs> yeah. that word on TV yeah Corey Graves said pile driver I was like <laughs> wait is this okay is that, are we allowed to <laughs> yeah. get excited and we're never going to see this again <laughs> uh, yeah that, that was such a good um, it's like when the WWE United Kingdom tournament, the first one, was oh, on, yeah. and Trent Seven did a burning hammer. Oh, God, and we were yeah. all like, Whoa. I never thought we'd see a burning <laughs> hammer on WWE TV. Let's oh, savour this moment. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, man. Uh, so, the match ended with a 619 into a 450 splash. Uh, Arlie went to take out Joe on the outside. Ray goes to do a 619 on Almas, but gets caught. Then it got like a gut buster into a hammerlock DDT, and Almas won. Nice. Good. 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 Very good. This is um, good wrestling. Excellent wrestling. And good burst for Almas. Five stars. Yes, five stars. <laughs> Very good. I, I'm so happy about it. Like when I saw the match, you know, I was just smiling. I was like, "Yes, <laughs> this? this is so promising." <laughs> yeah, so so good. Don't balls this up. Yeah, like, like, all all four guys in it look great, and it's like, please yes. build towards a 
a nice long singles match between Mysterio and Almas. Oh, yes. I just feel like the, it just has to happen. The reaction that that match got on social media, or even on WWE's own social media, uh, I feel like they should now take that on board and make that a thing. Yes. They have to. Of course. Surely. Otherwise, why have both of them in the match? Yeah, seriously. Uh, yeah, so good. Um, yeah, so we had a weird, another weird segment with Face Rusev, who I still don't like. Um, no, no, I don't either. Lana got hurt, we got Rusev, blah, blah, blah. I showed a replay of her getting hurt, quote unquote, 27 <laughs> times. It's like, just clearly fine. The thing landed fine. Do you want me to just wrestle? I'm sure she's taking worse bumps. Come on now. <laughs> Do you think she's pregnant? I don't know, actually. Maybe. I know that sounds stupid because obviously she took that bump. <laughs> yeah. But, like, Rusev tweeted, he put, my life is about to change forever, stay tuned. Oh, interesting. And notice that Nakamura didn't land on her. Yeah, yeah. Very clearly. But, I don't know. I mean, it, I, I don't know anything about being pregnant, but <laughs> uh, I'm assuming you can't take a bump like that. I would have thought so. Um, I know, I guess it depends on how early pregnancy is, that thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse um, the ignorance, by yeah. the way, because N- neither, neither of us have been pregnant. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah, so Rusev went, went to go back to fight. Nakamura gets beaten up. Meh, this feud sucks. Both deserve better. I, I like uh, I like Nakamura's part in this feud. Yeah. Um, I thought it looked terrible when they was pushing that crate thing into Rusev. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. I was like, Rusev could just walk around that. Yeah, seriously. What are you doing? He goes, ah, just step aside. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so we had uh, a good match. Uh, Usos versus The Bar. These two, these two teams are always amazing. Yeah, yeah these um, are always good value matches. Yeah, so they're good. Uh, so Usos won, they get a title shot at Royal Rumble, um, which they did? I don't remember. Not. No, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, the Bar won. Uh, fair play. That's right. Oh, yeah, of course. Because... Uh, uh, Uso, Jimmy Uso, I think it was, uh, got distracted by, um, uh, Mandy, Mandy Rose, Rose on the apron, um, doing that. Oh, did I leave my clothes in your, um, dressing room? Mm. Mm. Good impression, too. Mm. Thanks. Uh, did you stay in the towel? Findy or, Rose. Findy Rose. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was the thing. Um, so she got distracted, got knocked off the apron, and the bar won. Uh, because, of course, fair play. So, um, we all know what's coming at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Jimmy. Bad joke. Um, <laughs> what with Manny Rose and whatnot. Oh. Uh, um, so we're gonna. So <laughs> I, I'm done now. I, I can't even I can't yeah. focus anymore. All right, podcast over. All right. <laughs> no, sorry. What we do? So backstage, um, you had the Miz and Shane McMahon. Oh yeah. Doing a like a segment as you know, because they're a tag team now. <laughs> um, and a, they've just entered themselves into a match with the bar at the oh, Royal yeah. Rumble for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Yeah, so Miz came down after the match, uh, challenged them to a match, and then an ate a bro kick, and challenged and accepted. If these two win the like, Tag Team titles over the bar, I quit. <laughs> they are definitely going to win the Tag Team titles. Not over the bar, come on. I called this come on. straight away. Come on. I think we were the first podcast <laughs> to break that. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, I, I called it straight away. Just as soon as the Miz stepped in the ring that time, I was like, they're going to win the tag team titles. Uh, it just sucks because there's so many good tag teams on SmackDown and Raw, like the Bar, the Uso, the New Day. It's like, but you're going to give the titles to bloody Miz and fucking Shane McMahon? <laughs> Come on. This is only <laughs> going to lead to the Miz versus Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. Yeah. Great. You know it is. <laughs> yeah. They'll win the tag team titles, they'll lose the tag team titles, and they'll fight each other at WrestleMania. It's written. Yeah. It's written in the stars. Probably. Sigh. So but we, I just need you to know, you heard it here yes. definitely first. Yes, we, we broke the news. Game graphs, we everything. I think they probably listened to it and thought, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> probably, yeah. That's a brilliantly shit <laughs> idea. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so we had the main event, which was uh, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte versus Carmella, for the reason. Uh, and the winner was to base Asuka at the Royal Rumble. And uh, it was a decent match. I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. The one thing that stood out for me was Carmella and how good she was in this yeah, match. Yeah, very good, actually, yeah. Very good. Really good. Um, everyone talks about Becky and Charlotte but and, you know, leaving other women out of the conversation, but I thought Carmella really held her own against both of them. She was good. Yeah, yeah very good. Um, yeah. She's come on leaps and bounds since NXT. She really has, yeah. Um, yeah, no, she's really good. I like her. Um, I didn't write down who won. I think it's Becky, wasn't it? Becky won. Yeah. <laughs> um, Becky won with the uh, disarmour to Carmella. Of course, yeah. Of course, Charlotte wasn't going to take the... Uh, <laughs> no, of course not. Take the loss. This is, not at all. Um, so, yeah, I think she's going to go to the Rumble and run, probably beat Asuka. That's fair. Let's face it. You think? I think so. Asuka's not done me a whole lot with the title. Not her fault. Just bad yeah, but she's only been the champion for, like, a couple of weeks. I know. Give her a minute. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't... No, I don't think that's that's going to happen. 
Well, I guess if if, if Atletico does win, then it makes her look a lot better with the championship. Um, Becky can still be in the Royal Rumble, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So she can lose the match against Oscar and still be in the Royal Rumble? True, true. Yeah, I, yeah, hmm, I'm undecided. I'll, I'll think about it for next week's predictions. But uh, it, Will it be Royal Rumble predictions next week? I think so. Is it next, isn't it next week, Rumble? Or is it the week after? don't know. Uh, I, th- I don't think it's next week. I think it's the week after. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I think it must be. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll think, I'll think about it. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I could see it going either way, to be honest. Okay. Um, so your main thought was like maybe uh, uh, like Charlotte, um, fucking Becky would go on to beat Asuka and then go on to face Wanda at like Mania for like champ versus champ kind of thing, maybe. Or title for title? Maybe. Shrug. Do they then unify the belts and have a one single division? Because mm. they're obviously the, the, the tag team titles that are coming. Yeah. They they can't have two lots because that's ridiculous because there's yeah. not enough women to go around. Yeah, yeah. So if they're going to have one tag team titles for both brands, maybe unify the championships at WrestleMania. Maybe. And maybe. have them over both brands. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, but maybe instead of having the split roster for, yeah, between the ones back then for the women, let's have the all one big roster. That might make sense. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was SmackDown. That was good. Yeah. SmackDown was good this week. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, what was it? Both Raw and SmackDown weren't terrible. So the the, the, it, the 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 signs of change are definitely there. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely. So uh, the thing that left to talk about is, of course, this Saturday or today, if you listen to this um, as it comes <laughs> out, uh, is NXT Takeover UK. Yep, it's so exciting. I'm oh, yes. really, I'm fully behind this brand. Uh, I can't wait to see it build from here. It's obviously still very early days, uh, so it's still growing. But uh, I'm really, really excited for the show tomorrow. I have no doubts that it's going to be absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, it's going to be so good. Looking Five matches. It. The crowd will be hot. It's going to be really good. I'm excited. Yeah, same. Um, Before we go into it, okay. Uh, did you see Hideo Itami do a Falcon Arrow off the apron on 205? Oh, well, yeah, I saw the gif you posted, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so good. What the fuck? <laughs> How are they getting away with these things? I know, right? Craziness. Anyway. Looks awesome. I need to watch it if I like. Anyway. So there's five matches at NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. Yes. This is the number, I think. Yeah, it's just like normal anyway. NXT TakeOvers. Pretty much, yeah. I like it. Good stuff. Uh, so the first match we have on here is uh, Travis Banks, the Kiwi Bud Shaw. But sure. Versus uh, Jordan Devlin. Uh, this could be match of the night. Is that Kiwi Bush? Oh my god, I'm right. Am I thinking someone else? What? Kiwi Bush? Yeah, yeah. Travis yeah. Banks is the Kiwi Bush. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bush. Fucking hell, you got me saying Bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so this would be, be awesome, no doubt. Uh, it, it, it could be match of the night. Uh, it could be. It could definitely. It, it'll be so good. I mean, Jordan Devlin has been amazing. Oh, he's so good. Um, Travis Banks is amazing. Uh, Travis Banks is. This is another thing we've not mentioned, actually, but uh, we'll bring up. I'll touch on it after this. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. It's a tough one to call. I think Jordan Devlin will win. I mm. see him as a future WWE United Kingdom champion. So I think Jordan Devlin will win. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, he's, he's great. Again, he's been pushed loads. Um, loads? Why know. can't you talk? I don't know. Talking's hard. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Jordan Devlin's going to win for sure. He's been being pushed um, a lot. Uh, he's just, every match he has, he's like, been really, really good. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah literally, there's Banks. been no duds. Yeah, seriously. They're saying that Travis Banks has been no slouch. But... Uh, yeah, Jordan Devlin, I just think, has the edge, uh, for sure. So I think he's going to win and probably get, have a future, future title shot. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Um, that's going to be a really, really great match, though. To be honest, I think you could say that about the entire card. I think it has the, because obviously when you only have five matches on a card, they're given time to, to, to breathe and be, become classics. Like, look, I mean, look at NXT. Mm. Every single takeover, everyone's like, yeah, it'll be good. I'm not really, you know, hyped about the matches. Then the show happens and everyone's like, oh my God, it was just fucking amazing, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's the same here as well. I think, you know, with them just having five matches, it's going to be, it's just going to be a great show. I can't wait. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so we have uh, the Bomber Dave Mastiff versus uh, Eddie Dennis in a, a no DQ match. Uh, another good, I think a very good match. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Um, it's not, I don't, I don't think it'd be, I think a lot of people are expecting this to be the worst match of the, of the show. Hmm. But I think they'll surprise us, to be honest. I think yeah, both I think guys about. both guys are good. Yeah. Um I think it should be a good big men match. Yeah, I think so. I see So this is a tough one to call. Yeah, yeah. But I see Eddie Dennis winning. Really? Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm gonna go with uh Dave Mastiff because okay. he's uh, I don't know, because I think it's getting pushed slightly more as like a localized dominant force. But I think uh, that's the thing with both of them though, isn't it? True. Both of them have been sort of dominant and I don't know. It's, it's, that's why it's such a tough one to call, but it, I think it'll be a good match. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go for Eddie Dennis. I'm sticking with Eddie. Nice. Well, high five, Dave. Matt, if at uh, NXT, you went that tape down, we went. 
Yeah. You did what? I high five them as you were walking past. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have uh, Mustache Mountain versus Zach Gibson and James Drake for the NXT UK Tag Team Championship. Yep. Um, there, isn't there? Let's face it. Um, yeah, I think Zach Gibson and James Drake. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> no, no, I do. Uh, I'm not oh, really? going for Mustache Mountain. Really? Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, James Drake and um, Zach Gibson win. Interesting. It's too obvious for Mustache Mountain to win the titles. I guess so. But is that really a bad thing? Um, no, but I would like to see that division built around um, the grizzled young veterans, as they're called on the mm. Indies. Nice. I like it. Um, so I, I think they'll win. I don't think Mustache Mountain will win. Interesting. I think it'd be an excellent match. Oh, yeah. Like, it'd be a really, really excellent match. So, so good, yeah. Can't but um, I, I, I don't see Mustache Mountain coming away with the titles. Fair play. Um, I'm going to go for Mustache Mountain just because they're going to win. Um, <laughs> but no, I'll be, I'll be like them. I think... Having those two as tag team championship, tag team champions, and having um, Pete Dunne as UK champion just looked really cool. It does look really <laughs> cool, but remember when we thought Tony Storm was going to win the uh, UK Women's Championship? True. And then didn't? True, true. And the whole crowd was shocked because they were like, oh, she's definitely going to win. It's Tony Storm. <laughs> yeah. And then she didn't. Yeah. So yeah. I, well, I, I think it's too obvious for Mustache Mountain to win the tag team titles, and it will be better for the show for them not to. Fair. Yeah. Because they are obviously the standouts <laughs> of NXT UK at the minute. When people think NXT UK, they think British Strong Style. Um, I think it would be beneficial to NXT UK for Zach Gibson and James Drake to win the titles. Fair play. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, then we have, um, speaking of uh, Tony Storm, uh, Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm for the UK Women's Championship. Yep. Um, who have we got? And why? Uh, it would be a really good match for a start. Um, their first match was brilliant at um, the... Birmingham tapings that we were at. Yep, so good. I don't see Rhea Ripley losing the title just yet. I think she's going to be dominant, to be honest. And I think she's going to have it for a while. Mm, I think so too. Um, Tony Storm is, you know, the obvious challenger for her for the first takeover, just simply because of how she's been built. She's obviously, you know, won every match she's had on NXT UK. Mm-hmm. She won the May Young Classic. So people know yep. who she is. So to me, that it just makes her the obvious choice. But for Rhea Ripley to win... It makes Rhea Ripley look amazing. Uh, yeah, true. Uh, so for me, Rhea Ripley has to win on the big stage to cement her place um, as a real future superstar. Um, yeah, so for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going for Rhea Ripley to win. Cool. Uh, yeah, me too. Um, as I said, just um, do looking dominant with it and thinks if she wins again, they can look even more dominant. That's yeah. only a good thing going forwards. And uh, yeah, she's really, really good and I like a lot. Tony Storm uh, will win that belt eventually, oh yeah, but not yet. It's not her time yet. I think... Um, you know, because NXT UK is still building and it's got to build new stars. Tony Storm is a star. She's a superstar yeah. already. Everyone knows who she, who she is. She won the Mayo Classic and, you know, people know who she is. Rhea Ripley is an upstart and I think if the NXT UK brand need to build around new stars and Rhea Ripley is completely perfect for it. Yep. Yeah, agreed. And uh, so, of course, we to the main event, which is Pete Dunn versus Joe Coffey for the WWE UK Championship. Yeah. Um, who have you got? Oh, uh, Pete Dunne will win. Yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> I, I think Joe Coffey is good. Oh, yeah, he's great. But uh, for me, it just isn't championship material. Not just yet. Not quite. I like him. Me too. But the way I see this panning out is Pete Dunne wins and we we see Volta. Who? The guy who was the progress champion. Oh, Walter. Oh, Walter. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit sad here. Uh, yeah, very cool. Um, I agree with that. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, Pete Dunne's been dominant he's not gonna lose it now no. um yeah much like joe coffee um yeah i can't see him beating joe don't um, just yet no no joe, uh, what's face? no pete um, Dunn, thank you no i don't think he'll beat <laughs> pete dunn i think it'd be a great match but i see pete dunn winning i think um what will happen is um the wolfgang and uh mark coffee will get involved i think mustache mountain will come in and uh, mm. get rid of them too uh cause some sort of distraction pete dunn wins with a bitter end and then I think Walter comes down uh, after, I mean, with what they're going to want <laughs> is for this show to be memorable. Yes. And first one, so it, got to be. it can't. <laughs> I mean, for me, the best way to end it would be to bring Walter in and just the hype would be through the roof for Walter versus Pete Dunne for That'd the UK cool. championship. That'd be very cool. <laughs> Walter will be the person to beat Pete Dunne for that UK championship. Interesting. It won't be Joe Coffey. No. Um that's just the way I see it, and I think that's the way it's going to go. But I think we do see Walter tomorrow night, not in the crowd, 
Um, he's too big of a guy to just shoehorn into the front row <laughs> yeah. uh, for people not to notice. <laughs> it's not like a big fucking arena in America where you can sneak someone in there. They're like, oh, look, they're on the screen. There's EC3. Oh, wave, wave. <laughs> no, you can't do that at Blackpool. Not for me anyway. Not really. <laughs> uh, so I think um, Pete Dunne's there celebrating. Music hits. Walter comes down, um, squashes him, lifts the belt up, show over. And we're all like, Whoa. covered in jizz. <laughs> it's just, just covered. So. <laughs> yeah. My front room is just like covered in it. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> That's an image I didn't need. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like that South Park gif. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But with our faces. This is... That's the thumbnail, so it isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Can't uh, imagine that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be super good. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. Wrestling. Yep. I'm looking forward to watching it together. Yep. It's going to be great. Uh, one more little piece of uh, wrestling news that came out this week. Um, the Worlds Collide tournament uh, that they're yeah. having at Raw Rumble Access between 205 Live, NXT and NXT UK. That'd be awesome. Uh, five guys from each and the winner gets to pick the championship from any of those brands that they uh, want to go for. Nice. So Keith Lee's going to be your Cruiserweight champion <laughs> going forward. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, Buddy Murphy can do it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, sure. If Buddy Murphy's 205, so is Keith Lee. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, that's going to be really interesting and I can't wait for that. Plus, yeah. they are recording it for the network as well, which is great. That's awesome. Can't wait to see that. Um, it's going to cool. be good. But yeah, this, um, that's, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I think we've covered all bases. I think so, yeah. Uh, great. Turnbuckle TV does have a launch date now of January the 21st. Nice. Um, obviously we are going to be involved with that and look out for more news on that going forward yes. uh, but for now this has been episode 86 of the Games and Graps podcast we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash games graps yes thank you very much for listening I'm Sonny I'm Vin and we will speak to you next time thank you very much guys take it easy goodbye thanks so much goodbye <laughs> Yes.